one of our programs called the Youth Conservation Conference. We take um, 15 high school students, and this is one of the uh, programs we partner with the Forest Preserve with, and they do an intense boot camp conservation training. So um, it's geared toward looking into conservation environmental science careers, and I would say about 70% of them change their mind and, and decide on a path of environmental science conf conservation after getting involved because they never really had that opportunity. And so it's, uh, it's a tremendous effect on their lives. Just getting outside, catching the fish, especially with fishing, it's, it doesn't require any special athletic ability, so just about anybody can catch a fish. I've had the, the, the pleasure of actually attending some of their events. I've interacted with these young people, and I can tell you from my experience working with these young people, I've not met more uh, dedicated young people to conservation and really learning what it is that we do and being outdoors and exposing their peers to outdoors. Uh, in terms of change of behavior, I've seen kids who you know, started the program who came in with attitude. Uh, when they left the program, attitude changed. It was yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, uh, no ma'am kind of thing. Um, and so I, it, you see the progression of these kids in terms of how they bend that corner and just being better citizens. Well, I became involved with uh, Fishing Buddies through a family member of mine, and I came to a Kids Fest event and volunteered doing registration. And I, from that day on, I became more involved with Fishing Buddies and knowing what they do and their mission. And I felt like I wanted to be a part of something like that, something that gives back to the community as well as making me feel like I have some type of substance. I'm giving back to something, a greater cause than myself. It's important for kids to get out into the environment because not only is this our planet and they need to learn about it because we need to protect it, but if you haven't done these things before, getting out here and doing these things can either open up different opportunities for you or just introduce you to things that you've never done before. So maybe this is something you like, maybe this is something you'll like to do in the future. And instead of going behind the screen and playing a video game all day, maybe in the near future, you'll go out and start wanting to fish every other weekend. So bringing the kids out here really gets them out of the concrete setting and introducing them to the natural world. It's really interesting seeing them fish for the first time, almost hitting me. <laughs> um, but it's really great. It's, you just see the smiles on their face and how well they just cope with the situation. I talked with a lady today, she had her son, and we were having a conversation, and I asked her son, I said, well, have you been fishing before? He said no, and um, the mother said that she had, they were so excited that they had even brought their own fishing rods and all the little devices that have to go onto the rods, so they were super excited, and then they found out that they didn't even have to buy all the equipment. But because they're coming out here and they're learning, now in the future they can go out and use what they learned here today and start doing this more often. This is my first time being a part of any type of event that is this big. So being a part of this program has taught me how to be a part of a team. So out here, being able to put up the tents and learning how to put up a tent and what it takes behind the scenes of the big festivals. So I've been, I've been to festivals, but I've never been a part of being behind the scenes of one. So that was a big learning experience for me. And also this program even opens you up to yourself and learning about new different things about yourself. One thing that I think that someone coming into the, to this um, program should know that you should always bring your A game. Always do 100% on everything you do because you never know what it's going to affect in the future of um, your life. After doing this um, youth, youth conservation conference, I'm definitely going to try to go out and be a professional in this field. Going out and looking at all the different career opportunities that I've learned about, met fish biologists and naturalists and things like that. Being introduced to them and knowing what the job opportunity is and knowing that the economy is where it is right now, it's a very high job opportunity. The big thing about um, today's event, today, this is our largest event of the year and it's also our last before the, the next year. And 
it's a culmination of the full year and the big thing about this event is the Youth Conservation Conference. So we have the 15 kids that worked on logistics, facilitating, promoting, setting up. They're going to break down and this was part of their internship to be a part of this event and we want them to get that experience. This is a great great resume building or portfolio building experience for these students. And so what we see is the event growing bigger and bigger because it's been growing ever since 2001. And we want to have more, even more kids be able to be a part of that. And when what happens, uh, these kids, they worked hard. They don't get to have fun at this event. They're behind the scenes. So that's going to lead them to talk to their peers about hard work, about the outdoors, about this type of event and they'll be able to explain in a different avenue instead of saying, I went to the Taste of Chicago, but for when they talk about the Kids Fest, they can say, we put on the Kids Fest. And so I want them to take that, that uh, badge with them and big shout out to them.